Here looking at ES, uh, last week we saw this slow grind to the upside, uh, minimal rotation, a couple liquidations along the way, but we don't have an initiative sell side type activity. Um, early in the week, we saw this pretty even grind up. We get an acceleration up, we get an exhaustive look on the profile here and a retest of that. Um, we get an LVN return out of this for sell side um, type response to end the week. And so this week, putting my weight on um, previous week's value high, primarily 58 to three quarter. Um, and obviously getting inside a pivot would be beneficial to clean up some of this inventory. And so um, my notes down here, previous, foot, previous week's value high, uh, it opens up potential retests of this LVN return. And if we don't see an initiative look out of that, which would mean that we drive up into that, we see an aggressive sell. If we see that, that's something I would be looking to reoffer based upon the structure of the volume profile on the intraday aspect in order to come across this distribution. The outside profile here is the four week rolling. The inside is the previous week's volume profile. Up above us is the 1A, which is 58.36 half. If we get, if we wind up bidding above that, um, in the absence of an exhaustive look, not looking to fight that, but inside of the weekly pivot 57.86, I want to see us clear out um, the the bottom previous week's value low in order to test down into the 1B, which is 57.36 three quarter down here into the LVN range on this four week rolling in order to gauge for continuation, gauge for continuation. What do I mean? If you have an exhaustive look similar to either a tapered tail or an exhaustive node like that, then pause, allow it to retrace in order to look for a re-entry as long as we're below the week's pivot. Um, but inside of the 1B, uh, essentially what I'm looking at here on the fork rolling is we have this very clean distribution down to the 1B, nice high volume node, pretty even across the board. And then below us, we have this build, okay? We have some minor um, nodes along the way. But if you take into consideration um, this giant LVN down the, down below us at the 3B, look at the 1, 1B. This essentially here can be rotated through. So yes, we want to be conscious of the 712 along the way, but so um, underneath the 1B, Yes, I want to see us tag into the 2B high volume edge to gauge for continuation between the 703 to 712 range. Um, but essentially down at the 3B is the other inflection point. So the two inflection points I'm looking at um, <coughs> are essentially the 1A and the uh, 3B through here. We'll play this horizontal uh, level to level. But um, this 5670 range um, is in this wide LVN through here. And if we breach that, then certainly we can tag down into the lower 40s. If we don't respond immediately off the edge of this distribution, then I would expect us to pause, build some volume through here, and maybe respond at the high volume edge of the distribution below. With NQ, here looking at this, on the four-week rolling, uh, last week's profile, uh, still balanced, relatively ambiguous at the highs and so forth. Um, we don't get that quintessential exhaustive look. Um, and the 1A is up at 20,540 quarter. And we're settling um, just above where it would be at the weekly pivot for this week, 20,167. Um, therefore, down here in the uh, 950 to 970 range, just below previous week's value low, I would expect um, if we can get like a V-shaped move on the intraday, then I would view that as strong as staying in this distribution, potentially working our way back across through pivot, coming into previous week's value high and potentially testing the 20,400s. If that doesn't respond or close above that EOD, then would like to see this tag um, into the 3B. So come into this high volume edge, gauge continuation, 
and work our way through not only to this 360 but from this 296 to the 360 range but in the same note as um, ES is that uh, above previous week's value high I want to be ca uh, cautious uh, leaning in aggressively because we've not seen that initiative type move to the downside as long as we're below the weekly pivot at 167 quarter then by all means let's start let's start hammering these targets below us starting with the uh 950 to 70 range come through this lvn gauge continuation into the 1b and start tacking this off along the way and so if we do see a look above and fail then i'll I want to lean in a little bit more and if we come into um, the weekly pivot test down into these 950s to 970s come back above them and show that response then initially I want to look at that and go okay all right potentially exhaustive but if we get above the weekly pivot then I want to treat that respectfully um, in order to tag into the 1a and potentially gravitate into the 2A up here at 20,789. Uh, so get some rest tonight. Let's knock it out this week. <laughs>